Hello, my name is Tom Morgan. I'm an assistant principal at Douglas High School, which is right over here to my left behind us. We're standing at the intersection of Highway 88, County Road, and Mahogany. Going right behind the camera is County Road that heads into downtown Minden. Straight ahead is Mahogany, which heads into a neighborhood. Highway 88 is one of the north-south arteries here in Douglas County. And this intersection, prior to the roundabout, used to be a very dangerous intersection. Over here, right in front of the pool, is a spot where at one lunch I went and visited with a young lady whose car was totaled right up there on the lawn uh, by the pool. Uh, she had been in an intersection um, accident right in this intersection attempting to make a turn. Here in Douglas County we went through a difficult time of trying to as a community come to some resolution about this particular intersection. There was a population in our community that was opposed to having a roundabout and there was a population in favor of it. Uh, it was all centering around safety and would this be good for our community and would traffic be able to flow smoothly and uh, help our kids get to school safely. Ultimately the answer is yes. I just think that for our community it's proven to be a safe addition that we have appreciated having. I know the school district feels real strongly that it's been a nice thing and we've appreciated NDOT coming and putting it in. We had clamored for a light and uh, at the end of the day this has been a better option for us than a light. In the last couple of years, communities throughout the United States have chosen to manage traffic using roundabouts. Hello, I'm Trooper Chuck Allen of the Nevada Department of Public Safety. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce a transportation concept that might be new to some. It's called a roundabout. Simply stated, modern roundabouts move traffic through an intersection without the aid of traffic signals. Compared to signalized intersections, roundabouts have some distinct advantages. For example, Roundabouts help decrease vehicle emissions, increase roadway capacity, and improve traffic circulation. But the most significant advantage is safety. Roundabouts reduce the number of serious traffic injuries because roundabouts reduce vehicle speeds and are endorsed by the Nevada Strategic Highway Safety Plan. Modern roundabouts provide communities with another tool to address traffic congestion. So, what are the rules of the road? How do we drive through a modern roundabout? And who has the right of way? During the next few minutes, we will answer these questions. In addition, you will see firsthand how roundabouts circulate traffic. But more importantly, you will learn how to safely negotiate a roundabout. Please join me for an important look at roundabouts. One of the most important concepts of a roundabout is the yield principle. All vehicles must yield to traffic inside the roundabout, as well as vehicles exiting. Drivers should only enter after sufficient space is available to maneuver safely into the roundabout. Defensive driving is appropriate in all situations. Make sure you are aware of other vehicles within the roundabout and be alert to drivers entering and exiting. When approaching a multi-lane roundabout, drivers must choose either the left or right lane before entering. The appropriate lane choice is based on the driver's desired exit or intended destination. For the multi-lane roundabout shown in this video, the left lane allows left turns, straight ahead movements, and U-turns only. Allowable right lane maneuvers include immediate right turns or straight ahead movements. In all cases, signs will direct drivers to the proper lane. Drivers using the left lane have the following options left turns, straight ahead movements, and U-turns. Remember, when driving in the left lane, always maintain your lane position until you exit. Vehicles using the right lane must make an immediate right turn or a straight ahead movement. Remember to maintain your lane position until you exit. For a roundabout to function properly, everyone must follow the rules of the road. As you are about to see, 
Failure to observe these rules will create unsafe conditions for you and other drivers. Before entering, always yield to traffic within the roundabout. Entering without sufficient space will cause an unsafe condition. In this situation, the vehicle in the right lane cuts off the driver in the left lane intending to exit. Be aware of other vehicles in the lane next to you. They may be unaware of your intended exit. Never change lanes while inside the roundabout. This car in the outside lane is attempting an improper U-turn. U-turns are only allowed in the left lane. Some roundabouts are specifically built with truck aprons to accommodate the turning radius of large trucks and trailers. Although truck aprons are provided, drivers should be aware that trucks may straddle both lanes. That is why it is important to never drive adjacent to or past trucks while maneuvering through a roundabout. If you follow a truck into a roundabout, do not attempt to pass. When emergency vehicles approach, always give them the right of way. If you have not yet entered the roundabout, pull over to the right, allowing emergency vehicles to pass. Never stop while inside the roundabout. Instead, continue to your exit, then pull over to the right shoulder of the roadway, allowing emergency vehicles to maneuver around you. A roundabout crosswalk functions the same as an unsignalized crosswalk. Before entering the crosswalk, pedestrians should always look in the direction of oncoming traffic, find a gap in traffic, and then cross. Although you have the right-of-way, forcing traffic to stop suddenly can create unsafe conditions for both you and the drivers entering or exiting the roundabout. Most roundabouts include refuge islands, providing pedestrians with a safe route across opposing travel lanes. Bicyclists are encouraged to use crosswalks by walking their bikes. Only experienced bicyclists should ride through the roundabout. If you choose to enter a roundabout, the same rules of the road apply for a bike as an automobile. Now let's review the key points. As you approach a modern roundabout, remember these basic principles. Yield principle. Yielding to all traffic circulating within the roundabout before entering is the single most important rule. Lane choice. Drivers must make the appropriate lane choices based on their destination before driving through the roundabout. After you enter the roundabout, never overtake other vehicles or change lanes. Slow down. Drivers should be aware of the posted speed limit signs and slow down to safely enter. Large trucks and trailers. Give special consideration to large trucks and trailers. Never pass or drive adjacent to a truck within a roundabout. Driving behind large trucks is preferred. Emergency vehicles. Do not impede emergency vehicles. Pull over to the right if you are not in the roundabout. Or move through and exit the roundabout to ensure emergency personnel get to their intended destination without undue delay. Pedestrians. Utilize the modern roundabout's refuge island. This allows pedestrians to cross both directions of traffic safely. Bicyclists. Bicyclists should use the pedestrian crosswalk. Only experienced bicyclists should ride through the roundabout. Following these rules of the road will help you drive through a modern roundabout correctly and safely. Thank you for joining me in this informative look at roundabouts. If you would like more information on local road projects that include roundabouts, please contact your city or county's public works department or the RTC, as well as the Nevada Department of Transportation. Thank you for your time, and please drive safely.
The preceding RTC program was brought to you with the support from the cities of Lacey and Olympia, Washington, the Washington State Department of Transportation, and in cooperation with Washoe County, City of Reno, and City of Sparks as a public service for our community.